How's it going? Hello, welcome, welcome. Welcome to episode 53 of the Badcast. A year and a week. Um, <clears throat> so the lighting is kind of weird because uh, this might be the first one I film at night at this table. Uh, my parents might come back home anytime soon, so it might cut some time, I don't know. Well, let's find out. This uh, won't take much time, I guess, I think, should. Um, so yeah, let's get right down to it. Now this is a special, special beer. <coughs> so special, in fact, that I'm gonna show it to the, the viewers. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, we're doing this live. Uh, doing this live, I can't speak. <laughs> doing this live, all right. Uh, this is a smoked IPA. Swamp Ape DiPA. Uh, smoked Double India Pale Ale. Uh, from the Florida Beer Company. <laughs> it's a pretty standard name. Uh, this is, well this was, or this is a beer that was gifted to me. This is good, this is good. Is this good? It's good enough. Ah, good enough. Um, <clears throat> this beer was gifted to me by the one and only Nick from uh, <clears throat> the episode 50. Shouts out. And uh, he uh, he went to Florida during the March break, uh, which was two weeks ago. Was it last week? No, two weeks ago. <laughs> Jesus. And uh, he brought me back this bottle from uh, Florida, so thank you very much. Let's hope it's not gone bad. Swing away. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Nice color, really opaque uh, orange, amber. So this is the first time I've had a smoked double IPA. I don't um, particularly uh, like IPAs, they're not my favorite. I, I'm more of a stout guy, like I said many times before. Uh, this doesn't have the <coughs> alcohol, alcohol, alcohol percentage. Uh, United States, man, I, I don't know what's, uh, they, they don't put their alcohol percentage on them, I don't know if it's a law here or not, I don't know, but uh, many beers don't have the percentage on it, and uh, it doesn't show the IBU either, so it'll, it's probably bitter, um, but this is the first time I've seen a smoked IPA, so, you really smoke, you really smoke, um, you really smoke the, fuck, <laughs> Twice in a row, you really smell the smokiness of uh, the beer. Um, kind of smells like a black IPA because it has a s that that smoke smell, but uh, has a really hoppy smell too. So, cheers. Let's find out. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> It's not bad. Okay. It has a really nice smoky flavor in the, the front. Like first sip you get, first taste you get on your taste bud is a smoky flavor. Then the smoke fades out <clears throat> like a fire. Uh, the smoke fades out. You get a slight uh, fruity, kind of hoppy taste. Then the aftertaste is just hops. Really bitter. Right now I only taste bitter in my mouth and ugh. 
it's not bad as long as you keep drinking it and you don't get that bitterness. Um, it, it's it's really good. I really like the evolution of the taste and uh, the mouth. That's pretty. It's pretty neat. It might it might be like 10% alcohol. I don't I don't even know. It doesn't taste that strong, but it's really really hoppy bitter. That's the the, the thing I don't like. Uh, in the double IPAs or IPAs in general is the back end like you know it, it, it sticks right here you know you can feel the beer excuse me you can you swallow and you feel your tongue like <coughs> you feel you feel the bitterness down here you know just uh, punches you right in the throat um, but this is a uh, it's bearable uh, <laughs> If you can watch the uh, the episode where I drank a double IPA, uh, Christmas IPA or whatever from Vashfal, I don't remember the name, uh, but that was unbearable. I couldn't finish the beer. I had to throw it out. I couldn't drink it because it was too fucking bitter and stuff. So, but that beer was like 100 IBU, I think. This is probably like 80, 70. I don't know. But this is uh, this is my limit. <laughs> this is my limit of bitterness. Woo! All right. So, uh, what's up? How's it going, fam? Uh, we're, I'm just gonna check my emails real quick, and now I'm saying. <clears throat> oh, do 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 do. Mmm, oh, do do do. Damn it, this shit's slow. All right, no emails. <laughs> All right. I should probably tell my friends to send me some, but I haven't had the time, so. Instead, I'll read a couple of spam email I just received. Um, all right. I received uh, two spam emails. Two spam emails uh, this Monday. So, by the, the, today's Tuesday that I'm recording, so yesterday, I received two of them. Oh shit, this is long. God damn. Okay, let's start with this one. Uh, dear friend, these, these are all the same. What was this? Uh, Alright. Okay. Dear friend, I am Mrs. Joy Ula, the head of file department of Bank of Africa here in Burkina Faso, Ouagadougou. Uh, in my department, I discover an abandoned sum of uh, 18 million in an account that belongs to one of our foreign customer who died along with his family in plane crash. It is therefore upon this discovery that I now decided to make this business proposal to you and release the money to you as a next of kin or relation to the deceased the deceased for the safety and subsequent disbursement since nobody is coming for it i agree that 40 percent of this money will be for you while 60 percent will will be for me why are you taking my money man come on it's my family then after the money has been transferred to, into your account, I will visit your country for an investment under your kind control. So I'm going to control you? What? You have to contact my bank uh, directly as the real next of kin of this deceased account with next of kin application form, uh, which I will send to you immediately. I hear from you. I am waiting for your urgent respond. Oh, excuse me. To enable us to proceed further for the transfer. Alright. Cool. I don't want to read this one. This is too long. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. It's a fucking... It's an essay. It's like a thousand words or some shit. Fuck that. Fuck it, man. 
Uh, so it's St. Pat Patty's Day, St. Patrick's Day right now, today. Uh, just received an email from Brad Smith. Brewing an Irish stout recipe. And he, uh, he's, he's telling me how to brew a... Uh, I can brew an Irish stout. I wish I could, but uh, I'm kind of not in a... I, I can't do it at home. Well, I could, but fuck that. Ew. You know. I'm fine with buying my beer, I don't need to make it. It's probably gonna be shitty, anyways. Um, Alright, <clears throat> so that, that was uh, the emails. Um, what else? What else? Um, I haven't been playing much, as usual. I've uh, been playing mostly Cities Skylines, which is fucking amazing. Uh, if you like City Builder, Sim City Builder games, Builder City Sims, City Builder Simulators, uh, I really recommend it. It's not too expensive, I think it's like 30 bucks, but it's fucking amazing. It, it, it might be, well, it is the best sim uh, building sim I've played so far in my life. Uh, it also has really neat mod support and Steam Workshop workshop support so uh, you can do like cheats and mods and shit and it's, uh, it's pretty neat. So uh, if you're into those kind of games, check it out. I also started playing Hotline Miami 2 a bit. Uh, hey, it's not bad, it's just great. Like I was saying, uh, I, I haven't played much of Hotline Miami 2, uh, but it hasn't hit me as hard as the first one, obviously, because the first one was uh, fresh and new off the press. Um, so I think uh, they, they, uh, they should, I hope they, they don't make a third one. Um, because even right now, as the second one I'm playing right now, um, it, it seems kind of flat. Um, like, the, the music is great, the story is better, um, but the graphics seem off a bit. I don't know why, this, I don't know, the, the style of the game is kind of off to me, I don't know why. Um, and it, it's it's an alright game, but I haven't played. I I played like an hour, maybe two max, so I can't really judge. <clears throat> um, but like uh, as a concept, I think I'm done with those kind of games. It's really frustrating at sometimes, um, but that's the way it's made, I guess. So I don't know. I don't know. The first one was better. Sorry. We good, we Gucci. Um, except for that, I haven't been playing much. Uh, I'm trying to finish Dying Light, which is a great game. Also, as you can see right here, you can't see it, but you can see the screen. Um, I'm currently downloading Star Citizen. Oh my god, oh my god. Um, so, Star Citizen, uh, SXSW, is that South by Southwest? I'm not sure. Anyways, XSXSXSW, um, the, the, the creators of Star Citizen released a, a trailer demo montage video of five minutes, five minutes long of like gameplay and like trailers and stuff, you know, what you, what's possible in the game and shit. Uh, and the, the trailer got me really hyped for the game, um, even though I shouldn't be because it's, it's so ambitious that I'm kind of scared of Star Citizen as the, at this point. Um, but uh, you can, with a special promotion code, which is kind of out there, so you can just get, grab, grab one, on their website, uh, you can download it and play it until uh, this Friday, so tomorrow for you guys. Um, 
I don't, I don't know what playing Star Citizen and titles. I, is it only like flying around, seeing planets in space? Uh, is there like... I, I know you can go in the hangar right now. Uh, right now you can go in the hangar and like do like some dog fights in space or some shit, I think. Um, some, it's 20 gigabytes right now. Uh, the final game will probably be 100 gigabytes, they're saying, so... Ugh. Prepare your hard drives for it, so... Um, it's probably gonna be cool. Uh, I might buy it soon. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna play this free shit for like a, an hour, a couple hours. Um, see how it feels. Um, but obviously this is like pre-alpha shit, it's like not even final alpha, so uh, pretty early on the game development, uh, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm, I'm more looking forward to, are they able to deliver what they're saying? Are they able to uh, like make up to the hype? Uh, if we take... For example, Destiny and Watch Dogs, two games uh, that suffered from the hype. Uh, Watch Dogs was like overhyped as fuck. It was delayed, thank God, because it would have been even shittier. Uh, it was an alright game, but you played for like three days, four days, and you never, I uh, never played again. Um, it has no replayability, the online is alright, the story is eh. It, it was just an overall okay game. Destiny, I haven't played Destiny to be honest, but uh, <laughs> from experience, from uh, listening to everybody who played it, um, it was a repetitive as fuck game and it was fucking boring as fuck. I mean, you could play for like a hundred hours and enjoy your time, but it had no content. You had like t t 20 maps or I, I don't fucking know, but everybody whined about the content. So it ended up not being as great as everyone said, uh, the hype, you know? So hopefully they, they, um, they, hi they, they hop on the hype train and make it to their destination because if this game gets made and it's fully functional and good it might be like the greatest fucking achievement of mankind because fuck man it's like what like fucking more than 50 million in this game has been crowdfunded from just people it's just fucking mind-blowing man shit so hopefully uh Star Citizen is as good as they think it will be, and uh, not the other way around. Anyways, um, I'll probably play that uh, this week, and then um, talk about it next week. Uh, except for that, that's pretty much it, you know? <clears throat> uh, I've been busy with school and shit. Fucking, fucking shit, bro. Fuck. <gasps> shit. Uh, also, this lighting is very fucking weird because it's red and. Like, this should. Like, this. Kind of look like a fucking demon. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll finish this off screen, I guess, because I have other shit to do. While I wait for Star Citizen. <laughs> Anyways. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Nick, for the beer. Uh, thank you for watching episode 53. Damn. Uh... Facebook.com slash the badcast, Twitter.com slash B Duke, YouTube.com slash I Duke Man. Um, send me an email at marty20catlive.com. Oh shit. And I'll read it. I've actually, to be honest, I wanted to do something cool uh, after episode 52. 
Um, editing wise for the, the bad cast. Excuse me, goddamn. Um, but then I realized I'm too lazy. <laughs> I wanted to do like fucking graphics and like tracking and shit. Uh, maybe eventually, but not right now. Uh, sometime, someday. We can always dream. Anyways, cheers. And, uh, drink to. Drink, drink on.